smiles, Will. Welcome, Keeper. Before you lies a happy and carefree realm. The local champion, Lord Antonius, holds the first portal gem you require. Learn how to construct a dungeon and build up your forces so that you can crush Lord Antonius and wipe the smile from his face. Behold your dungeon heart. Protect it well, for if it is destroyed, you will be banished forever from this land. Here walks the goodly Lord Antonius. Tis he who holds the precious portal gem. But only when you've mustered strength sufficient should you challenge him and claim your prize. Lair. Hatchery. Well done. And now your faithful servant imps will carry back your gold to Dungeon Heart. Once here, it can be spent. The golden scale atop the screen keeps track of your reserves. Ah, you've picked a creature up. To drop him, right-click anywhere on your land. A start indeed, but more gold is required. 12,000 units should be mined. Observe. Red flowers float above your imps. These give measure to their health. Their skill acquired and reflect the simple thoughts within. Excellent work, Keeper. You are ready to recruit more creatures to your cause. See? A portal near your dungeon heart to where your imps must dig. They'll claim this portal to be yours. You'll see what beasts emerge. Your dungeon heart is full of gold. No more than 16,000 can it hold. The Lair, a place of rest where creatures sleep to calm their tempers and restore their health. Your lair is not large enough to draw sufficient creatures through the portal. Fifteen tiles or more is what's required. Build more. Your lair is built. Now right-click to cancel building mode. A place where creatures feed on favoured food. The eggs will hatch and chickens then emerge to satisfy their appetites. Behold your portal. The gate through which new creatures enter your domain, drawn forth to use the rooms which you provide. Look well. A goblin has entered your domain. On his own, he is a cowardly beast, but in a horde becomes a useful fighting force. Good progress, Keeper. See? Your goblins are well rested in their lair, and their bellies full with juicy chicken flesh. Now keep watch, for very soon more goblins will arrive, and then your numbers will be strong enough to challenge Lord Antonius.
I sense a breach. The servants of Antonius have broken through your walls, and you can move your gaze to see them now by right-clicking on the flashing blade. But worry not this time, for his only dwarves, who feeble as they are, pose little threat against your goblins. The hapless enemy dwarfs are being crushed. Observe the white health flowers which appear above them when they're near to death you'll see that only one last petal shows. Goblin force is large enough to challenge Lord Antonius for his portal gem. Tunnel north and you will find your smug opponent skulking in his keep. Ah, I see you have discovered a magical item. Your creatures have been blessed with experience. Away, Keeper! You shall not taint Smilesville with your evil ways. He speaks, the feeble Lord Antonius. See how the petals of his white house flower are of a special shape. This marks him down as your prime target. Take him out. Bravo, Keeper. Lord Antonius is fallen. The portal gem lies aside his helpless form. In wait for Horny to collect it so it's yours. And comes he now. Devise new spells in the library. The training room lets creatures improve their combat skill. Hot lips. <laughs> well done, Keeper. You have successfully ended the life of Lord Antonius, and you have claimed your first portal gem as well. This is a most promising start. Sing Song a joyous land filled with light and music. Let us silence their wailing voices once and for all. This land is defended by Lord Darius, a far tougher opponent than Lord Antonius. Only by harnessing the forces of dark magic will you defeat him. Build a library to attract warlocks to your cause, and they will reveal to you the secrets of the arcane. The good Lord Darius presents himself against you now. He's more worthy as a foe. But use the rooms you won from Smilesville to good employ, and you'll slay him dead just like Antonius. Library. Training room. 
first kill the lair, and then a hatchery, then claim the portal near your dungeon heart. Library, where warlocks wise can hone their evil craft, perfecting spells for you to cast at goodly foes. The training room is a place where fighting creatures hone their skills. Dark now. A warlock has arrived to study spells within your library. His research will serve your magic well. Restrict him not, though, to his books, for when in battle he may prove formidable with fireballs. Every bookcase in your library will attract another warlock to your realm. A task well done, but training creatures will cost gold. Species of creature has entered your dungeon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Your creatures make good progress. One improves his skill to level two. A creature can train as high as level four, but that's the limit. Further skill can only be attained out in the battlefield. Your imps have found some dwarves. These righteous little pests may stray onto your land, and if they do, destroy them, for that's what they deserve. The poultry dwarfs are now destroyed. Allow your creatures time to rest and eat. When ready, guide them north to find Lord Darius's keep. A left click on your creature picks it up. A right click on claimed land then lets it drop. Be wary though, don't drop them too near enemies, for the dropping stuns these beasts a time and makes them vulnerable to enemy attack. Mana is the currency of magic, and it's this you spend each time you cast a spell. Your mana level is shown in green atop the screen. Your land will gradually renew it as it's spent. Cast your new spell to create an imp. So open now the panel Spells, and select the imp's head symbol. Then cast it with a click on any land that's yours. A good cast keeper. You've made good use of your warlock's studious research. The time has come for you to face Lord Darius. Tag the flashing tiles. Your imps will tunnel to his keep. Imps are creatures born of magic and cost mana to sustain. to train your warlocks to improve their skills. To do this, drop a warlock in the training room. A new 
whose spell has been researched. Your warlocks now have studied further, offering you another spell to cast, through which a thunderbolt is yours to hurl against such foolish enemies who dare invade your turf. Imp spell has been upgraded. Thunderbolt spell has been upgraded. There is nothing left to research. Payday.
Lord Darius's walls are breached. Your forces now must kill his guards and stir Lord Darius himself to come defend his land. <laughs> At last, Lord Darius has been roused. He enters through his hero's gate. Your forces now must kill him, and the portal gem of sin song will be yours. Ivan, dare not think that you will conquer me, you evil wretch. My dwarves and the power of good will drive you from this land. You seek to defile my realm with your foul sorcery. You will perish, Keeper. Lord Darius lies dying. Now comes Horny to claim you the portal gem. Your progress is most pleasing. Treasury lets you hold more gold. Make traps and doors in the workshop. The sentry trap targets intruders with a powerful cannon. Use wooden doors to seal off rooms and corridors. Nunchaku. I see you blasted Lord Darius off the face of the realm. A most entertaining way to claim a portal gem. To hear their singing turn to screaming has been a tremendous joy to my ears. Ramshackle. This is a peaceful land, but a poor one, since its defender, Lord Avaricious, has frittered away his riches. If you can amass enough gold, he will surely be tempted into leaving his fortress and attacking you personally. Lord Avaricious hides within his fortress proud. He's well defended, but gold's his weakness. To lure him from his stronghold, mine all the gold within his realm. Treasury. Workshop. Sentry trap. Wooden door.
recall. Your dungeon heart will only hold a sum of 16,000 gold. So build a treasury for the excess to amass. <laughs> place where trolls will come for fabrication of the doors and traps which help defend your evil underground creation. Light Firefly's essential as an airborne scout. His eyes are yours to penetrate dark places and report. A troll arrives, attracted by the splendor of your workshop. His craftsman skills are set to serve you well, as one whose toil will make both traps and doors for you to use in your defense. Tis well built. Now, choose the hammer tab to see the workshop panel, then select the symbol for the sentry trap. The tile which flashes near your dungeon heart is a good place as any for a sentry trap. Now what? Your trolls will fabricate the trap, then imps will take it to its designated place. Place well your wooden doors in narrow tunnels to slow down hostile enemies as they invade. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. To lure Lord Avaricious from his stronghold, mine all the gold within his realm.
sentry trap has been created in your workshop. You cannot afford to build this room. You do not have enough gold. Sentry traps will only fire if sufficient is your mana for that. A troll has become unhappy because he has no layer. Do not have enough gold. <laughs> you cannot afford to train creatures. <laughs> created in your workshop. Your doors are locked with one left click upon them. Lock trolls within your workshop, then watch them work without distraction. Although in time, they'll yearn for sleep or food. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. <laughs> A firefly has become unhappy because it has no layer. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop.
place well your wooden doors in narrow tunnels to slow down hostile enemies as they invade. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. Imp spell has been upgraded. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. A wooden door has been created in your workshop. It is payday. Keeper, I will punish you for daring to despoil my land. Your destiny is to die by my sword. Another portal gem is yours. Your wickedness inspires us all. Your sinful ways are glory to behold.
change. Corrupting the noble? Whatever will you think of next, Keeper? The sunlit kingdom of the heroes draws a little closer with each victory, and this was cleverly fought. Well done. Lord Avaricious lies broken before you with his gold in your coffers. Who says you can't buy happiness? <laughs>